wanted to start out this video by doing a little makeup tutorial. So the holiday season is approaching us. Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year's. It's gonna be here before we know it. So I wanted to show you guys an easy holiday glam makeup look that you guys can try out for this holiday season. So we are going to get right into it. We're gonna start out with this video straight with prepping our skin. So I have freshly cleansed skin and I'm going in with my Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base. You guys know I love this stuff. This kind of doubles up as a moisturizer and primer. It's super rich and creamy and I have drier skin so I love primers that have this texture so I'm just gonna take a little bit and apply it all over my skin and I don't know about you guys but when I touch my face my face gets so red it's like the most annoying thing like look how red I get but I'm just going to continue rubbing this in The next step that is essential to any makeup look that I do is my Bobbi Brown Corrector and I'm in the shade Light to Medium Peach. Especially around the holiday season, we are all so crazy busy. The end of the year is coming, so I just feel like this time is like the most hectic time for everybody. So nobody got time for dark circles. So that is why I love this product so much. So this just neutralizes your dark circles underneath your concealer. So I'm gonna grab this. You guys can see I've already hit pan on this. I use this every day. I'm just gonna grab this on my ring finger. I think the ring finger is the best way to apply it. And you know, I used to hate correctors because I felt like it was just like a thick layer underneath my makeup and it just didn't, it just didn't mesh into my skin really well. This is just such a thin product, like a little really goes a long way. So I'm just taking a little bit on my ring finger and I'm just going to tap it onto my dark circles and I apply this underneath my foundation. So here is the corrector over on one eye so you guys can see a little comparison. But as you can see, this just cancel out any of the purpleness I have underneath my eyes. So this like little bag I have right here, it really helps just like conceal it and make me look super awake. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this onto the other side as well. So we did our first step, which is prepping, our second step, which is correcting, and now we're gonna move on to perfecting with one of my favorite foundations ever. This is the Bobbi Brown Skin Long Wear Weightless Foundation. You guys know this is one of my favorites. It is just the perfect full coverage foundation that just doesn't feel heavy or cakey on your skin. You can really customize how much coverage you want with this. It's very buildable, but I just love it because no matter how much I put, like it just looks like skin. So. I'm in the shade Warm Natural, and I'm going to apply it on this little palette. I'm Miss Fancy Schmancy over here. So I'm just going to apply a few pumps on here. And then I like to apply this with a brush. This is the Bobbi Brown Full Coverage Face Brush. So using a brush, I like to use a brush first and then go in with a sponge when I apply like concealer and stuff just to press it in, but I feel like a brush just gives you the best coverage and it also applies your foundation a lot faster, which is what we need during the busy holiday season. So let me put my hair behind my ears. Oh my gosh, guys, today I was at the Sprint store because I actually just switched to the iPhone 11. If you guys didn't know, I had the iPhone 8 Plus. So I I loved my 8 Plus, honestly. It was a great phone. But I was like, you know what? It's time to upgrade. I had an upgrade anyway. So I got the iPhone 11. But this is the iPhone 11 Pro. I didn't know that there was a difference between the Pro and then the Pro Max. I don't know. Like, Apple just be doing too much. It was like iPhone 11, iPhone 11 Pro. So I figured that was the big one. But no, there's an iPhone 11 Pro Max which I did not know about. So I went from having the 8 Plus, which is a big phone, and I love big phones, to ordering this. And it's like this tiny little, like, I feel like I'm holding a Barbie phone because I'm so used to, like, my big phone. But anyways, the girl who was helping me today, I wasn't wearing makeup today. She's like, oh my gosh, you have the nicest skin ever. And I was already like, me? Because, like, I feel like especially if you're someone who struggled with, like, skin issues or if you're just getting complimented on something that used to be like one of your biggest insecurities it really just hits different i was like oh my god thank you so much you know so 
that honestly made my entire week so anyways i'm moving on that is it for the foundation so we have a nice beautiful clean canvas for the rest of our makeup look i'm telling you guys this foundation looks like skin like it doesn't make you look like you have a ton of makeup on yet it just covers so much so i'm just gonna apply some concealer just to brighten up the area this is a paper straw so don't come for me but i don't know what it is about this cup but water just hits different from it anyways on to contouring you guys already know i love my maybelline fit me concealer for this and i'm in the shade cafe I'm going to be setting my makeup with my Huda Beauty baking powder in the shade Banana Bread. I don't know if you guys noticed, but I keep the same face products. I've been using the same products for like a year now. I just don't like switching up the products I use. Like if it works for me, it works for me. And especially being like a beauty guru, I guess. Um, I hate calling myself that. I don't really think I don't really consider myself a beauty guru. But you know, you would think like I'd be more open to trying new products, but I stay loyal to my to my faves you know so i've been obsessed with using this beauty blender little powder puff to apply my powder it just applies it so nicely so we are done with the face for now so i'm going in with this love in the afternoon eyeshadow palette from bobby brown how gorgeous is this packaging wow it is so beautiful so it is just these really pretty neutral brown shades like right up my alley so i'm gonna first be taking these two shades right here and buffing them into my crease so i'm just taking a fluffy brush and just going to be applying that i'm gonna grab this nude peachy shade right here and i'm just going to use that to highlight my brow <laughs> grabbing this brown in the palette which is next to the brow bone shade i'm just going to apply that to my outer v now this does have a little bit of shimmer in it so i'm just going to pop that right there With my ring finger, I'm grabbing this gorgeous shimmery shade. Like this is like perfect for the holiday season. It's like the perfect champagne shade. I'm just going to take down my ring finger, get the best color payoff. And I'm popping that right onto my eye. So especially for a holiday look, I definitely want some more like drama to the eyes like this is really pretty as it is but i definitely want to add some liner so i'm just taking a pencil liner this is from la girl so i'm just going to smudge it i love smudging black liner on my lash line because it looks so much more subtle and it's easier okay like winged eyeliner it's cute it's fun but it's so tedious it takes so long so i love with just doing a smoky liner you don't have to be perfect it's way quicker see look at what a difference that made with our eye shape and it was so fast so easy just adds that little like oomph, you know so i'm gonna apply some mascara and lashes and also our post just got here so i'm gonna eat before it gets too late it's already like 9 p.m so i'm about to go eat and then i'll be right back i'm having a chicken philly if you're wondering so i'll see you guys in a little bit we have lashes on and i also ate my chicken philly so now we can get back to our makeup so i am going to be setting my bronzer with my benefit hula bronzer ride or die bronzer right here i'm just going to bronze up the skin Also applying some mascara 
on the bottom lashes. I'm gonna apply some blush, Milani blush in Luminoso. Also gonna apply a little bit of highlighter. Just to give this look a little bit extra flare, I don't know, I'm taking this Dose of Colors little glitter. And I'm just going to put this in the inner corner just to like pop. We are going to end this look off with our lips. So I'm taking this Dose of Color lip liner in the shade Snappy. For my lips, I was going to go with a matte red lip, but I figured that's just so basic. I feel like I do a matte red lip all the time. So I'm going to go with a glossy red lip. So this is actually from... Bobbi Brown as well. This is their crushed liquid lip and this is in the shade Big Apple. And this is just such a pretty glossy red and these crushed liquid lips have such a beautiful applicator. They're so like fat so they just like apply so nicely. Let me fix my hair. I've got extensions in so I'm feeling myself. That is it for this holiday inspired makeup look really hope you guys enjoyed this little mini tutorial we're gonna get into the rest of the vlog but make sure you guys check out the description box down below to check out these amazing products make sure you guys check out the description box down below and let's get on with the rest of this video hey guys welcome back to my channel so i'm editing this video and for some reason i lost the intro clip for this video but basically all I said was that not too long ago I posted a day in my life and that video did really well you guys responded really well to that video and from my back end I saw that the watch minutes jumped a lot on that video so that tells me that you guys really enjoy watching days in my life so this video is going to be another day in my life so if you enjoy these types of videos make sure to give me a big thumbs up and let's get right into this video Hey guys, so last time I saw y'all, I was getting my nails done. So I just got um, like new, it's even worth showing. It's literally just like nude nails. It just looks like I have a clear coat on, which is really pretty. I actually really like it, it looks really clean. Um, so I'm definitely gonna go back to white after this photo shoot. Yasmin and I are about to head to dinner and she's actually waiting for me outside. I also need to stop at CVS. And tomorrow I have to be on set like at 8 a.m. So I'm just gonna have a really chill night and just like pack my bag for a photo shoot. I'm gonna show you guys the things that I take to photo shoots and um, just like read my book and relax because we have a long day tomorrow. So got my coat. Oh my goodness, I almost tripped over my straightener. Got my jacket and I'm about to head out the door. Let me say bye to my baby. I was also working on a video this is my office. I like to just edit on my bed. But I was working on my what I eat in a week that's going up soon. And Nala was my assistant. Just kidding, she was sleeping the whole time, but look how pretty she is. Bye, Nala. Be good. I love you. You look cute. Okay, we got salad. Empanadas. Is that my rocks box? Is that my big one? Is that my biggest child? Hi. <laughs> hey guys, I'm back from dinner with Yasmin and we also went to Froyo. And how crazy was it that we just went to a random location and they had the coconut flavor. If you guys didn't know, that's my favorite flavor. And not all yogurt lands have the same flavor. So I got really lucky that they had my favorite. So that put me in a really good mood. But I'm about to get ready for bed, guys. She's licking my foot so hard. It like tickles. Um, I'm about to pack my bag for tomorrow. By the way, do you guys see a difference in this camera? So I don't know if I mentioned this earlier, but my G7X, my other one broke. Cause I dropped it really bad in Ohio and then it just started glitching like ever since then and I just didn't want to bother with like sending it back and stuff because it takes way too long so I just ended up going to Best Buy to buy a replacement and they actually came out with a new model. This is the G7X Mark III so it's supposed to be 
the newest model. I don't know if you guys can see a difference. The selling point for this one for me was the fact that it has a jack for a mic, I believe. Yeah, so I can put an external mic if I want, which you guys know I'm a stickler for audio. I haven't put on a mic, but that is a big reason why I chose to get this one. Okay, so here's when I'm packing for my photo shoot. So usually for photo shoots, I either like to take this big Louis Vuitton tote bag. This is the GM. There's two sizes. There's the MM and the GM. This is the GM, so it's huge. I either take this, or if I'm taking more stuff, I take my carry-on size cow pack. Um, that's like a rolly suitcase, but I just decided, of course, Nala likes to come right when I'm filming. So... I'm just gonna take this one instead. So I always like to take a little makeup bag with me on set. So this one is just a little one I got from MAC. So in here I have my favorite pair of lashes. This is the Lily Lashes in the style Miami. Um, not just Miami, this is Miami Flair. Where's the label? Yes, Miami Flare. So this is my favorite pair of lashes. So I just like to have a pair of my lashes just in case I'm not a fan of any of the lashes that the makeup artist provides. And I also have the KKW Beauty body makeup. So I didn't have time to tan, but honestly I still have my tan from last week. So it's not that big of a deal. I'm just going to put some of this body makeup on with this brush that came with it then I always like to bring my Charlotte Tilbury powder so this is just a this is so hard to open with one hand this is just a translucent powder so I'm going to bring this with a little brush just to touch up then I also have a lip balm and then also a brow pencil because that's just something I'm really picky about um this makeup artist I'm working with uh tomorrow has never done my makeup before so just to be safe now for undergarments so I don't do strapless bras I despise strapless bras that is why I got a breast lift so I don't mess with them so luckily I have some nipple covers, so just in case I need it, I have, you know, these nipple covers to pop on. Um, I'm not sure of what I'm going to be wearing tomorrow because I don't even know they're styling me. So for the undergarments I'm bringing, so both of these are from the brand Spanx. So I have these Spanx little boy shorts. Now I know you guys are going to say you're pregnant, like don't wear Spanx. Honestly, these Spanx aren't so tight to the point where like I can't breathe. They really are flexible and breathable. So I have these little boy shorts right here. And then I have this like full body suit type of Spanx that also has an attached bra so this will work if the dress isn't strapless because you can see straps but this one really does like snatch you in this one's amazing so these are both by the brand Spanx then I also like to bring just a new g-string and um, seamless panties so it's always good to just have options you never know so just from my experience I like to have all of this now for shoes, I just need nude and black heels. So these are both the same exact heels. These are my favorite heels. They're so comfortable and they make my feet look so good. These are from Saint Laurent. So I'm just taking a pair in nude, a pair in black. Then you always want to have gum. So I'm also packing some gum. And also I need to go in my beauty room and grab my extensions. And then I'm also packing my Bellamy hair extensions. You can't really see them because the bag is black. But these are just a bundle of hair extensions. And then I'm also going to be bringing this Neutrogena Ultra, uh, Ultra Sheer sunscreen spray. Now this, JLo's makeup artist swears by this to give the body like a nice sheen. And especially in photos. Um, yeah, the sunscreen, if you just spray it all over your body, it just gives you such a pretty shimmer. Um, not shimmer, just like a nice, like, sheen, like you're glowing from within. So, I'm gonna bring this just in case if the makeup artist doesn't have, like, body makeup or anything. So, yeah, that's everything I like to take to photo shoots. Good morning, guys. It is bright and early. Put on my little track suit and my Uber's outside and I'll see you guys there. Hey, guys. We are at the shoot. Complete. 180 from what I look like this morning, but we did my hair and makeup. He slayed it. It looks so good um, I'm just in the bathroom right now about to get dressed and get ready to do our shoot Mel's still not here because he always used to come to my shoots like before I even got my hair and makeup done He would just sit for like two hours. So he's like this time. I'm gonna come when you're ready So he's on his way here I'm about to just use the bathroom get dressed and I will see you guys and I'll show you guys the full look But we're just shooting the waist up so doesn't really matter.
Hey guys, so it's been a little bit since the shoot. It went really well. Oh my gosh, the pictures turned out amazing. And as I mentioned earlier, we're gonna have dinner tonight with T-Bell and Danny. Tonight's Friday, so we're just gonna, you know, relax, chill, and just have a good time. So she's actually outside right now. We're about to head to Whole Foods and do a little bit of grocery shopping. And then we're going to cook and watch a movie. And I need to apply more lipstick. I look so bare without it. But yeah, let's get the show on the road. Look at who I'm reunited with. Danny DMC back in the building. <laughs> I was like, we haven't seen each other in 30 so years. Long. Do you know what's crazy? Me and Danny, we end up going back to visit home at the same time every Isn't single time. Isn't that so crazy? It's crazy. It's we like never talk time about it happens. Yeah, like we never talk about when we're going home, but uh -huh. we both know like we're going somewhere. Yeah. We leave on the exact same day. And we get back the, on exact, the exact same, same day. day. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. And we're both we're originally synced. from Ohio. Yes, so, I was born in Cleveland. So we miss the Midwest. It's, it's literally 90 degrees right now in LA. So and we hate it. We we're want not the chilly weather. All. Not cold. Chilly. No, I want cold. <laughs> okay, like I'm talking I'm talking about like a good like 60. Like, okay, light I want jacket. like a smooth 50. Maybe 45. Okay, now 45. <laughs> okay, you lost me, bit. Bye. Getting our shrimp. We want that whole food. Mm -hmm. Big juicy shrimp. <laughs> Some of just got green onion and ginger. I mean, we pretty much have a lot of the ingredients that we need, so. It's a shrimp. Okay, so we're trying to find oyster sauce and I cannot find it anywhere. Like, we've just been staring. Oh, shit. Oyster, like, oyster flavored sauce. Is that the same thing? Danny and I are cooking. I'm gonna link down below the recipe that we saw for this uh, shrimp pasta. So you guys can see it, but we got some water boiling. We got some shrimp cooking We have some salad that we're eating before this little paste is like ginger and um, What else ginger green onion and sesame oil? So good. Boiling we need to Danny's te teaching me all about pasta She's Italian and I don't know shit about pasta. She said rule of thumb if the water is it what? As salty as the ocean? Yep, as salty as the ocean. Then it's not good for pasta, yes. so. It won't cook it as good, yeah. and it helps the water boil faster. Mm, I had no idea. Yeah. Mm. Um, now, give me some of that Trader Joe's uh, spaghetti, because we should mix it. Okay. <laughs> Guys, we snapped on this pasta. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's delicious. Did you eat a shrimp yet, or not yet? Not yet? <laughs> yes. Scale out of 10. Go ahead. If you don't want your shrimp, give it to me. We just snap. All right, guys, that's it for this day in my life. I really hope you guys enjoyed. It is currently 4 o'clock in the morning. I've been editing all night. Like, I've just been working on videos since, like, 10 o'clock. So, I'm super tired. I'm about to take a shower and go to bed. So, I really hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you again for my next video. Bye, guys.